Assalamu alaikum. I'm Javidia Aslam, and today we're going to talk about the career skills which the companies need the most in 2021 and in the coming years as well. The first step in career self assessment is to identify your skills. By definition, a skill is something that you have learned through work experiences, education, training, or volunteer activities. When employers consider a candidate for a position, they assess whether a candidate's skills match those required for the position or not. Knowing your skills is crucial in pursuing and securing the right job. Now coming towards the types of skills. Career skills generally fall into two categories, soft skills and hard skills. The former involves specific knowledge and abilities such as technical proficiencies and data analysis. The latter focus on emotional intelligence and behavior such as communication and problem solving. Both types of skills are equally valuable because the world needs problem solvers. When companies are assessing job candidates, they are looking for the best of both worlds. Someone who is not only proficient in a particular function, but also has the right personality. Essential skill is also one of a great type of skill. Moving on towards the detail of soft skills. Soft skills are unquantifiable, intangible skills that are also known as people skills. Some examples of soft skills include having a positive attitude, communicating well, creative thinking, teamwork, and problem solving. How can we actually develop soft skills? Along with responsibilities, it's important to highlight soft skills that can give employers an idea of how quickly you can adapt and solve problems, whether you can be relied on to follow through, and how effectively you can lead and motivate others. Hard skills. Hard skills are quantifiable, tangible skills that include technical skills. Hard skill abilities include conducting research on the internet, using a specific computer application, or operating a specific piece of machinery or equipment. For example, a nurse or a doctor will have hard skills in the use of medical equipment. Moving on to essential skills, which are sometimes referred as need of the hour. It's the combination of hard skills and soft skills that form your overall essential skills, which is what helps you secure and maintain employment. These essential skills vary by occupation or profession. There has been a shift of focus towards a skill-based education, which would definitely make the education more relevant as it will enable children to connect themselves to the society better and it would also empower themselves and would also empower them to relay their knowledge with the real life issues, which is missing in the present educational scenario. The greater focus on skill development will open tremendous opportunities to schools as they would become the real centers of learning to life. Referring to four pillars of education, learning to do, the schools will actually train the children to do so. Furthermore, the skill development has to start from school level. At primary level, Children need to learn the basic life skill, to be independent and self-directed learners, to be participative and collaborative, to be expressive besides the basic literacy, communication, mathematical and ICT skill. At the secondary and senior school level, children need to develop the skills of collaboration and teamwork, creativity and imagination, critical thinking and problem solving. They have to have flexibility and adaptability, global and cultural awareness, information literacy, and leadership. They must develop social responsibility and ethics. <clears throat> to increase the capacity of education and skills development systems, education and industry will definitely require closer collaboration. In fact, it should become an important feature for knowledge sharing and enhancing capacities, anticipating the change and matching skill demands and supply. The schools should offer internship programs and tie up with the industries to provide hands-on training. Reskilling. 
The vast majority of business leaders now expect employees to pick up new skills on the job, job a sharp rise from 65% in 2018. The pandemic has accelerated the trend of online reskilling. Between April and June this year, Coursera saw a fourfold increase in the numbers of people seeking out opportunities themselves. Employers providing online learning opportunities for their workers increased fivefold, and there was a ninefold enrollment increase for learners accessing online resources through government programs. Surveys suggest that although learning a new skill set is increasingly accessible through digital technologies, but individuals will also need the time and funding to be able to pursue new opportunities. Now coming toward the time needed to learn new skills. The platform of government programs says it could take just one to two months to acquire one of its top 10 mastery skills in emerging professions across people and culture, content writing, and sales and marketing. It could take two to three months for learners to expand their skills in product development and data, while a four month learning program could help people move into roles in cloud and engineering. Half of us will need to reskill in the next five years as the double <clears throat> as double disruption of the economic impact of the pandemic and increasing automation transforming jobs takes hold. That's according to the third edition of the World Economic Forum, which maps the jobs and skills of the future, tracking the pace of change and direction of travel. But the very technological disruption that is transforming jobs can also provide the key to creating them and help us learn new skills. Thank you.